Happy Monday, Nine News Meteorologist Lauren Robinson here with your forecast. Another day with more red flag warnings. So we're going to continue to be aware of the very dry weather and very gusty winds that increase that fire danger out there. This again will be the entire eastern half of the state where we're just going to watch for this red flag warning throughout the day and we're going to continue to make sure that we're mitigating those risks. Now to the south, we're going to continue to see gusty winds even after the red flag warnings expire. So we do have several high wind warnings and high wind watches in effect for southern portions of the high country into the valley area, southern portions of the I-25 corridor and front range, and then the far southern portions of the eastern plains. These will be in effect Monday and Tuesday. Outside of that, we go through the rest of the day. We're going to start to see those snow showers expanding across the high country, some even making their way into western portions of the front range, a few stray raindrops and snowflakes as we go throughout our day Monday. But the bigger system really starts to push in Tuesday. Tuesday morning, you can even see this frontal boundary here where the high country snow really picks up, but we'll also start to see that snow push into the front range. We're looking for some rain and snow showers uh, Tuesday morning in Denver, anywhere between seven to nine o'clock, which is that Tuesday morning rush hour time span. So you want to make sure to give yourself some extra drive time Tuesday morning. We go through the rest of the day and we start to see the snow heaviest south of Denver midday across the Palmer Divide and into Colorado Springs down toward Pueblo and then some on and off snow showers through the rest of the day too. Tuesday, we start to clear out by early Wednesday. The heaviest snow is expected to fall to the west, so we don't have any alerts in effect across the Front Range or Eastern Plains as it pertains to snowy weather. But the high country is expecting up to one to two feet of new snow, all the while still maintaining those gusty winds. So winds could be gusting between 65 to 85 miles per hour, which does create that blowing snow, wide out conditions, reduced visibility, very hazardous travel. You'll want to try and stay off the roadways in the high country between Monday morning and Tuesday evening. So totals for the rest of the state, higher totals off to the west, but the front range in eastern plains not getting much. This is showing Colorado Springs at maybe around seven to eight inches, but you can see here as we zoom into the front range, Denver, maybe one or two inches. Same goes for the rest of the urban corridor. Smaller totals off to the east, if anything there. We could see some isolated high totals to the south across the Palmer Divide, maybe up to three inches there. And then the foothills is looking like that two to six inch territory with the high country again anywhere between 12 to 24 inches in the mountains. Now those highs will be well above average. Our seasonal high this time of year in Denver is closer to 48 degrees. I think we see 70 degrees Monday afternoon. Most of the front range in eastern plains will be in the upper 60s to low 70s, especially across the plains. A couple of areas to the south will be a little cooler. 55 is our high in Colorado Springs, 68 and 63 in Pueblo and Trinidad respectively. 40s, 50s in the high country, 50s, 60s out west. Take a closer look into our front range forecast highs for Monday, upper 50s to low 70s, a wide range there across Denver. And then as you make your way to the west, middle to upper 40s up in the high country, northern portions of the front range, lower to middle 60s, possibly 70 degrees in Greeley. And then those 30s up in the mountains with all of that snow that'll be falling. So we will be seeing uh, one more warm, sunny, windy, dry day across the front range in Eastern Plains Monday while that snow starts to develop to the west. To Tuesday, it makes its way into the front range. Temperatures drop. We're going to see that uh, very slick, slushy, heavy, slushy snow, especially during that Tuesday morning commute. It'll get better as we go throughout the rest of the day. Sun returns Wednesday, seasonal temperatures for this time of year, but then those temperatures continue to climb. We're back in the 60s as we make our way toward next weekend.